What's up guys, Nick here, back with another quick iOS tip that could totally save your day. How to downgrade to iOS 18? Can you downgrade your iPhone to iOS 18? I've seen so many downgrade posts on Reddit lately, but I've got some bad news. Apple has already stopped signing both iOS 26 and iOS 18 firmware, which means there's no tool and no method that can downgrade your iPhone anymore. Now I know why you want to downgrade. Maybe it's the battery drain, performance dropped, your iPhone is running hot, or maybe you just hate the new design and miss the iOS 18 look. But here's the good news. I do have a workaround. You can keep iOS 26 but bring back the iOS 18 style design and yes it can also boost performance and battery life. Today I'll show you how to disable liquid glass on iPhone using Nugget no jailbreak required. Let's get started. Before we start open the settings app go to your Apple ID and turn off Find My. Then go back to the main settings page, find privacy and security, scroll to the bottom and turn on developer mode. Now you're ready to use the link in the video description to download the Save Mobile Gestalt shortcut. Open the shortcut and follow the prompts on the screen. Once it finishes loading, tap the button that says click here. Then choose file and tap it. Next select NS string. You'll now see a long list of PLT codes, press and hold on the screen, tap select all and copy everything. A save window will pop up, pick a location that's easy to find, tap open, and the file will be saved. Next, open the Files app and find the plist file you just saved. Then share it to your computer using AirDrop, Email, WeChat, whatever method you prefer. Once the file is successfully sent to your computer, you're ready for the next step. Then head to the link in the description to download Nugget. Once the page opens, just choose the first option, it's usually the latest version. Scroll down, find the download section and pick the version that matches your computer. I'm on Windows, so I'll download the Windows version here. After it's downloaded, connect your iPhone to your computer and you're ready to go. Next, open Nugget. On the homepage, you'll see my iPhone shows iOS 26.2 and says partially supported. This means it only supports installing live dynamic wallpapers, but it doesn't support turning off the liquid glass theme. If you're curious about that, you can check out my previous video. Nugget works fully on iOS 26.1 or below. So you have two options, either your iPhone is already on iOS 26.1, or you'll need to downgrade to iOS 26.1. You can use Ryboot for this. It can downgrade your iPhone to iOS 26.1 with one click and without losing any data. I've put the download link in the description. Once your iPhone running iOS 26.1 is connected, go to the sidebar in Nugget and click Miscellaneous. Then click Liquid Glass and enable all the options. Next, still in the sidebar, click Apply, then click Choose Gestalt File and select the Plist file you just transferred from your iPhone to your PC. Finally, click Apply again and your iPhone will automatically restart. After your iPhone restarts, you'll notice that liquid glass is gone, your lock screen, status bar, all of it has no more effects. Don't worry, your iOS version hasn't changed. The best part? With Liquid Glass turned off, your iPhone no longer needs to render themes in real time, so you'll see big improvements in battery life, heat control, and overall performance. I've gotta say, the person who made this software is an absolute genius. If you want to turn it back on, it's super easy. Just go back to Nugget, tap Remove Tweaks at the bottom, then choose Internal. It takes a few minutes, and once your iPhone restarts, Liquid Glass will be back. If Nugget shows an error, just restart the app and try again. That's it. Hope this helps you out, let me know in the comments which method worked for you. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe for more iPhone tips. I'm Mick, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.